What's going on guys? Today we are taking a look at the Gold Brave of Legend, Goldran. This is the primary hero from that said series. What we have here are the two pieces that make up the set. Ron and his giant golden dinosaur. Godzilla this guy ain't. Taking a look at Ron first, he's a cool gold little sports car. He is very reminiscent of Hotshot from Transformers Cybertron or Galaxy Force. Or I should say Hotshot is very reminiscent of this guy. It's a very nifty little guy. I love the look of him in car mode. Transformation is incredibly simple. Flip out the legs and then he's got feet in here, but good luck getting them. Oh, very, very tight little legs he's got. Then the arms are formed by just splitting open the sides and the top of the vehicle mode, and that's it. Now he does have a little sword that he is supposed to come with, but again, it's mixed in with all my other Brave series figures, little weapons, and yeah, finding that one ain't gonna be easy. But he is a cool looking little guy. The head sculpt on this guy is really nice. Very, very show accurate. Now, if you've ever watched the show, it's mostly a comedy show. So there's not a whole lot of seriousness happening. There's a ton of pratfalls with a giant robot. I would think that would be dangerous for, you know, the general population of the planet. Taking a look at his giant golden Tyrannosaurus Godzilla Rex, we can see that it is, um... Yeah, it's uh, kind of ripping off Grimlock a little bit, though much more pointy. Now, I will admit, I, you're supposed to take these fins off of the, of the uh, giant dinosaur thing. I just leave them on because I'm going to lose them if I take them off. Overall, it's very imposing, but it's a giant golden miniature Godzilla. I'm not sure how fearsome this thing would actually be. It's very strong in the show, but if I ever saw it in real life, I'd, well, I think I and everybody else would just try to steal the gold off of it. Transformation for this guy is pretty interesting and not very easy for either. First, we're going to take the dino legs and pull them straight down to extend them, then flex them out and bring them down, something like that. Coming to his feet, we are going to take the feet and flip them around to make them look like robot feet and stand the thing straight up. Take these side flaps and put them straight down. Then take the little dino arms and flip them around to the back of the figure, like so. I like to straighten them out just to get them out of the way. Take the chest plate here, and this whole chest section will fold down and fold into itself, and then flip down to form the front skirt plate. Take the tail and split the tail in half, and then the tail will flip around and peg into those white peg pieces you saw. So I'll do that on this side as well. So they can flip around this way, but I like to bring them forward. Just keeps everything out of the way. And they snap into place. And then we can take the dino arms and fold them straight down. Then take the shoulders and make sure that the, the circular things are pointing forward and then bring the arms the tails, arms down, and fold the tail up. And one thing you got to be careful of is every time I move my, this figure, uh, these ratchets aren't very strong anymore. So I'll do the same thing over here. And then bring in Ron and split him in half and fold him up. And he, find the gem, will snap in right here. Next, push the dino mouth in and then push the whole unit down. And it's supposed to, when you push the dino mouth in, flip out the robot mouth, or robot head, there we go. And that guy will fold down and snap into place. And you can flip out his little side fins on his head. And here we have Goldran. Now he does have a couple of accessories. First off is this giant katana. And then he's got all these little red bullets that you uh, fire by twisting this knob. I'll show you that in a second. Overall, he is a very striking figure. Yes, I realize that he's all gold, but the gold is nicely detailed. We've got nice riveting going on here. 
the, just the differences between the bright shiny gold and the duller gold is nice. Overall, it is a nice looking figure. Now his cannon mode is that of, he's got these giant shin cannons that pop up, and then he's got these other cannons in his shoulder. These are just straight missiles. Uh, the reason I don't have them uh, the reason I don't have them loaded up is because, well, one, they're all on runners and I don't want to unpeg them or unclip them from the runners. And two, yeah, they're a real pain in the arse to uh, find when they shoot all over the place. So I promised you I would show you the cannon. Here is the twisting cannon and you just turn it by twisting it. It's just a resistance twist and there are four bullets, but for some reason, the fourth bullet never wants to launch. It just sticks in the barrel. As you can see, the katana is massive. The blade itself is about three quarters of the figure's height. The head sculpt, when you can see it, is very nice. It looks like a dragon version of a Gundam or something from a Gundam SG Generations. Just a very, very nice head sculpt. Overall, Goldran is a very impressive and very cool figure. Is it perfect? Eh, it's got a few little nagging bits and problems here and there, chief of which the legs are a little bit unstable. But in the looks department and in the fun factor department, it's just tops. So guys, if you can find this for a decent price, I would pick it up. I hope you enjoyed this video review of Goldran. I've been Spade of the Bolt Matrix, and as usual, I'll catch you next time.